In today's world of aging infrastructure, how the grid is managed and maintained from the power station to a switch on your wall has never been more important. And although substations may not seem sexy, they are a crucial piece to life as we know it. Welcome to another edition of IBEW Our Power. I'm Erica McClarity. We're here in Fairbanks, Indiana, watching the IBEW build one of the largest substations in America. This is a 765 KV station project. We're rebuilding an existing station that had two banks of 765 KV transformers that were about a 1960s vintage, and then adding a third bank of 765 KV transformers. That third bank addition means seven brand new transformers that will do double the capacity for future system demands. The project is a $60 million investment for American Electric Power, and it is vital that it be done right the first time. This project's in a very isolated area. Getting skilled craft labor is very challenging. It's critical with a job of this technical complexity to have people that have done it before, have done it a lot, and have the capability to do it. The main reason we picked the IBEW is they're safe. The second most important reason is they're very well trained and they're very capable. This isn't the first time that AEP, Newkirk Electric, and IBW Locals 876 and 1393 have worked together. The local and the contractors got to have a great relationship. If we don't have a great relationship between us, the utilities, and the contractors, we're all going to fail. The camaraderie between us the contractor and the utility and the local is great. I mean, we have, we have we have really great working relationship. We built the 345 yard, then we added a bay onto the 765 yard. Now we're building the transformer yard to tie the two together. They are hanging drops, cutting drops. They are welding, uh, building containment pits for the oil and the transformers. We're in the middle of an outage right now. So we're working long hours in all conditions. There's a great variety of work, and so far it's been going pretty good. Today we're just hanging drops and jumpers on the station service tertiary. All the guys out here are there to help. There's nobody out here wants to do you wrong. I mean, they're out here to help every day. Working outside is just one of the many factors that can leave an electrical professional in an ever-changing work environment. Some of the challenges we faced, particularly down here, was weather, mud. Uh, at one point we were in mud up to our knees every day for about two months. There's slip hazards because of the mud. It's sort of a clayish material and it does get slippery. When it was snowing, we actually bought ice cleats for the guys to wear, which helped. Any more safety is the priority. Production is second. Safety is the priority now. This is uh, a large job site, 38, 39 acres. One of the largest sites I've ever been on. In order to get guys around, get tools around, we have to uh, rent little Kubota carts and John Deere gators to bring people back and forth. Though the work can be complex, the reasoning behind it all is simple. Our end goal uh, out of this project is to get modernized infrastructure in place in the EHV transmission grid to allow us to provide safe, reliable electricity to our customers at an affordable cost. Reporting from Fairbanks, Indiana, for IBEW Hour Power, I'm Erica McClarity.